welcome to another video from HP Analytics. We're going to look today at analysing some data and this is to do with uh, sports betting which is a bit of a hobby of mine um, and I thought it's useful to get an insight into how to figure out where to put your money on certain markets. Um, I often like to go into markets at half time and I'm hopefully going to show you how you can prepare for that. What we have here is we have some raw data from a website that I use uh, football data. I'll post a link and this is all the raw data here. We're only going to use columns A to I, as that's what we need. These columns here are the home teams, the away teams, the full-time home goals, and the full-time away goals, which is effectively the full-time result. The actual full-time results, so whether it was an away, a draw, or a home. These are the half-time home goals and half-time away goals, so the half-time score, effectively. And this is the half-time result, whether it's a draw, home, or away. These two columns here are of particular interest to us, half-time home goals and half-time away goals, because the purpose of this video is for me to ascertain the number of goals, advantage or disadvantage a team will have at full time, given the score at half-time. So what I've done here is I've already got a query in here. Um, and for anyone who's familiar with SQL, um, you, you recognize this has a similar syntax to it in Google Sheets, but they call it a query. If you don't have familiarity with SQL, that's not too much of a problem. It's quite easy to grasp. This looks a little bit complicated at the moment, but I guarantee you it's not too complicated. And I can post any of the formulas if you need them. But I'm just basically going to go into how you can draw some conclusions from some raw data. So here we have a query that what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to tell us firstly, of these teams, I want to know the average number of goals at full time for both the home team and the away team when the score was even at half time. So we're trying to find out how effective teams are when they are drawing a half time in a full time position. So the query I've, I've put in here is, um, so you type in basically first equals query and then you select your range raw data. So that range is A1 to BL324 which is the whole range of data that we have in here. It goes all the way down to B324. But we don't necessarily need all of it. And then I've asked it, this is the select clause that would be similar to people who've used SQL. Select B, which is in raw data, the home team. Select the average of D, which is the average full-time home goals. Select the average of E, which is the full-time away goals. And then select the average of D minus E, which gives us our full-time handicap. So that's the number of home goals minus the number of away goals full-time handicap will be 1.13 and the where clause here is really important because we only wanted to take into account games that are level a half time so it says where g equals h and if we go into our raw data g and h are the half time home goals and half time away goals so where they are equal to each other so nil nil one one two two three three etc we want to return the average of those goals and the full-time handicap. Um, we're grouping it by B here because we want, us, want it to be summarized by team, the average per team. And this is just a label. We want to change the label of the average to full-time handicap. Um, this is really, um, so what's happened here is we've run this query and what's said to us is it said, when Arsenal are drawing their games at half time, they actually end the game on average, 1.13 goals ahead of their opponents. Bournemouth, on the other hand, when they are drawing their games at half time, end up 0.5 goals behind their opponents. And I've just done some conditional formatting to see the ones that really stand out. So Chelsea here, at half time, if they're drawing their games, ends up 1.25 goals ahead of their opponents. So if you're drawing with Chelsea at Stamford Bridge at half time, look out because you're going to have a problem. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the formula slightly to show what the situation would be if 
the home team had a plus one advantage at half time. So I'm going to copy this f query here. Actually, I think I've, hit, I've got the title here. Yes, half time plus one lead. So I'm going to copy this query here and paste it in here. We might get a value error pop up. Sometimes that happens. Okay, we did. And what I'm going to do is the, see, it's gone out, you see, because our select raw data range has changed. So it's not picking it up. So we just need to check what that was in here. So it was A1 to BL324. So I go here and go A1 to BL324. Now, this at present is returning exactly the same query. There's nothing different. But what I'm going to do in the home team section is I'm just going to change this where clause very, very slightly so that the half time score is where the home team is leading 1-0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say where G, which is the home team, where the, that's the column representing the home team half time score, where G equals the H score plus one. So there we go. So that has returned to us now where G are leading H one goals, where the home team half time is leading the away team by one goal at half time and we'll see how this affects the handicap now as you would expect the handicap here for Arsenal has gone up by 0.12 where they were leading one goal now that makes that makes sense because you would think if it's if they're drawing a half time 1.13 handicap at full time if they're winning a half time they've got a bit of momentum the team may give up so the average goes up slightly we can see some pretty astounding numbers here so Liverpool, on the other hand, when they're leading by exactly one goal at half time, they actually end up winning the game by 2.25 goals per game on average. Swansea, on the other hand, are having a bit of a nightmare. When they are winning by one goal at half time on average at home, they end up on average losing the game by 0.67 goals. I hope this has been of some use to you. If you'd like me to post the actual queries, let me know and I can do that. I will post the link of where to obtain the raw data from. It's a really good website, footballdata.co.uk. Okay, thank you very much.